In this video, we review a new way to save money in Azure. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Raltos. In this video, we go over a new option to save money in Azure called Azure Savings Plan for Compute. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Become a member to get early access to videos, add free will private, and check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop and hybrid identities with Windows AD and Azure AD at Unimi.com. Back to it, Microsoft has a few ways to save money in Azure. There are hybrid benefits, a way to use Windows virtualization entitlements from on-premises licensing agreements in Azure, dropping the price of a Windows IaaS server down to the same as a Linux server. Then there's spot instances. Spot instances leverage unused capacity in Azure data centers for processes that can be interrupted. The resources are discounted, but Microsoft can shut them down in times of high demand when the compute resources are needed for non-spot instances or full paying customers, for example. This is a good option for things like batch processing that can be interrupted and then pick up where it left off. We can use reserved instances. These resources are discounted up to 65% with a one or three year spend commitment. We can still pay month to month. We simply get reduced rates because of the commitment. Reserved instances work for compute, SQL, storage, and other Azure resources. That brings us to Azure Savings Plans for Compute. Unlike reserved instances that apply to specific types of resources based on 24 by seven usage, Azure Savings Plan for Compute works by analyzing hourly spending and applying savings to the base usage amount. Not all services in Azure run 24 hours a day. Batch processing may run in the background and ramp up throughout the day. And with Azure Virtual Desktop, VMs may be deallocated at times of low usage. Let's use Azure Virtual Desktop as an example. In this example, all session hosts VMs used for remote desktops run during the first half of the day, hours one through 12. This is when most of the users are logged in and working. We'll keep the math simple for this example. There are 20 VMs at a cost of $500 per hour to run them. Usage is reduced during the second half of the day and half the session hosts are deallocated. Not as many users are logged in at this time. It costs $250 per hour to run the 10 servers during the second half of the day. We could use reserved instances for the VMs, but that would apply to all 20 VMs based on running 24 hours a day, seven days a week but half the VMs are shut down for half the day. With a cost savings plan, we can discount the base amount of the hourly spend. In this example, the discount is applied at the base of $250 an hour, and we use the pay-as-you-go rate for anything over that amount. One thing to be aware of, this is a use it or lose it plan. Savings are lost if spend is below the Azure savings plan amount for any given hour. Say we shut down 15 of the 20 VMs for six hours, we still pay the same discounted amount for those hours. The cost savings plan is applied by the hour. So if usage falls below the base rate for a period of time, the plan still applies. The discount does not carry forward. Let's go over some additional details. It's called cost savings plan for compute and only applies to virtual machines, dedicated host, container instances, Azure premium functions, and some app services. It does not apply to the Windows Server OS licensing. Unlike reserved instances that apply to a type of Azure resource, Azure Savings Plan is applied hourly to a billing scope. It applies automatically to the matching resource. There's no need to worry about resource size, family, or region. Azure Savings Plans can be scoped to eligible resources and subscriptions with billing scopes or to specific subscriptions, management groups, or resource groups. Not every subscription type is eligible for Azure Savings Plan. To qualify, the subscription has to be part of an enterprise agreement, Microsoft customer agreement, or Microsoft partner agreement. That's why I won't demo Azure Savings Plan in this video. I don't have any of those agreement types. Use Azure Advisor to get started. Azure Advisor gives recommendations about subscriptions, including cost recommendations and Azure Savings Plans, if eligible. If you want to purchase an Azure Savings Plan, they can be found under Cost Management and Billing, Savings Plans, or search for savings plans in the subscription. And there's some final information. There's no cancellation or refund available at the time of this recording. Be sure you're ready to commit before purchasing. Savings plans can be used with other cost savings measures such as reserved instances. If there's an overlap, the greatest Azure discount, typically the reserved instance will apply. 
It's also possible to trade an existing reservation for a savings plan. This shifts the remaining balance of the reservation to the Azure savings plan. That is an overview of the new option for cost savings in Azure. It's one of several tools Microsoft provides to save money on your Azure spend. Be sure to check out Azure Advisor to see if one of these options will help you reduce your Azure bill.